Hi, I'm Lisa Barron and welcome to the City of Stonington and Discover Your Own Backyard. What better place to start than right here in my store in the heart of High Street, Armadale. Not sure if you realise, but the history of fashion in Melbourne started here in Stonington and we love to celebrate the contribution local designers and retailers play in making Stonington Melbourne's fashion capital. For us locals, shopping and fashion are part of the lifestyle and culture. And the best part is, Stonington is right on the doorstep of Melbourne City. And we've got it all. From haute couture, high-end fashion retail, from a large range of Australian and international designers. We have homewares, hairdressers, it's all here to explore. But for us, the shopping experience isn't just about purchases. It's about the dining, the cafes, the hospitality, all those places you love to stop at along the way. So let's get moving and meet some of the locals and discover their favourite shopping and dining experiences. Hi, my name's Ruth and I live and work in Stonington. High Street Armadale is full of the most interesting fashion, food and homeware stalls. It's got um, everything you need and you'll always find something here that you need or want to buy. I'm actually standing in Market Import at the moment, which has the most beautiful and colourful, stylish homewares. Lots of bright colours, different shapes, it's very exciting. There's House of Orange further up down High Street. Parterre, which has exquisite indoor and outdoor decor items. Ian Sharp Jewellery on Turek Road, South Yarra, an iconic store, been there for ages. There's all sorts of hidden gems in our little side streets in Stonington. Great places to shop. Hi, my name's James, live in Paran, been living there for about a year and a half now. There's an abundance of great restaurants and, and places to, to eat and drink in South Yarra. I mean, just on Turak Road alone, you've got Francois, which is like being in France. Then if you come down to Denoy, it's like an awesome little Sardinian restaurant, really great Italian food. The hospitality in South Yarra is awesome. You can head just down the road grabbing coffee at Sicilian Orange, head across to Mama Bubba which has a really fun vibe for lunch. In the afternoon why not head up to the Lyle Champagne Bar for a couple of drinks. There's so many hidden gems in the local area. Head to Paran, you can go to Colonel Tans, there's some fantastic Thai food. On Greville Street there's heaps of really funky little shopping boutiques. And you can always head down to Hemden where I get my tailored shirts on High Street. Hi, I'm Kate. I play keyboards in the Harlots and I live in Windsor. I think the local shopping and dining scene is pretty eclectic down here in Windsor. It's fun, it's got a vibe about it that, I don't know, it just makes you want to get involved. I think one of my favourite places to shop around Windsor is probably Shag. I just love the eclectic range that they have here. There's polar extremes, you know, you've got the high-end fashion and then you've got hand-knitted koala jumpers that, you know, take you back to childhood days and it's like a walk down memory lane. Some hidden gems around Windsor, I'd probably say Clothing Store Dansk, it's one of my favourites. I really like Chapel Street Bazaar for vintage shopping. It's massive though, so I need to make sure I've got enough time to allow to get lost in there. And for food, I think probably Parlour Diner, because they have really awesome burgers. The Parlour Burger is probably my favourite. And I always make sure I get the curly fries, because they're the best. So that's the city of Stonington. We've covered a lot. So you have to agree, Stonington is Melbourne's shopping and fashion capital. So next time you have a family or friend to come to stay, have a look around and discover some of your own hidden gems.